Everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Lamar Molina with LamarketingPMA.com. Look us up. Home of free skip tracing for new real estate investors, keeping you guys in the game. Why am I here now? Well, we have a great opportunity for all of you guys. A brand new system that does everything you need in one place without having to pay for all of this silliness that's on the screen right now. Oh, hold on. Let me pull that back up. Without having to pay for all of this crap. Right? Put this over here. Sorry about that, guys. So, if you're paying for... If you look in here, you'll see a little thing. $75 for real flow. That's where you get your list at sometimes or do other things with. $400 just to set up a system similar to ours. If you've ever heard of REI Rail with Max Maxwell. MailChimp is free for 2,000 subscribers. But I'm telling you right now, guys that have big list of buyers, they have, you know, 15, 20, maybe even 100,000 people on that list. You put that in MailChimp, you're talking 300 bucks a month. Of skip tracing. For 1,000 leads from batch skip tracing, it's 20 cents per lead. You're paying 200 bucks just to skip trace the leads. Podio, if you have a Podio system, if you wanted to do all that cool automation and you know send emails and triggers and all of that stuff, you're gonna have to pay a couple of hundred bucks, maybe even a thousand dollars to have that system built, and then it's 20 bucks a month to maintain it. And for those of you that get your leads from PropStream, need I say more, right? Um, PropStream is the greatest thing out there. It's 100 bucks a month. My PropStream is only 50 bucks or 60 bucks because I came in before anybody else. So that's an example of why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I only pay 60 bucks a month for PropStream. That's it. While everybody else is paying 100, why am I only paying 60 bucks for PropStream? Because I got the action takers discount, right? When they rolled out the software, before any of these gurus ever heard of it, the team that I work with in Fort Lauderdale, which are real major real estate investors um, and mentors, they charge $12,000 just to mentor you, okay? They already had access to the software. And hence, that's why I've had my subscription, I think, since late 2017 or early 2018 and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's how much all that stuff is there. Five, 600 bucks a month just for all of those things, right? So now let's get into, you know, why we're here. So right now, just to give you an idea of what's going on and what you're looking at on these screens, okay, the screen that you're looking at right now, and this is kind of like almost like um, we're make this is going to be make believe the seller's phone, the seller's mobile phone. All right, this is just one of the systems I use for digital phone numbers, and obviously, so you guys can see the responses. I have this up so when we send a text message from the system it'll show up here and this is the seller looking at their phone okay now also in here uh, I've sent excuse me I have a window for email all right so I want you to be able to see the email inbox of the make-believe seller that we're going to be marketing to for this campaign right and then let me just see something Boom. okay and then um, once I have that window open you'll be able to see the inbox and all those other items there uh, as they come in and as they roll in and, and populate okay so that's important that's why we're doing that and let me just see what I have set up here in the system okay that's set up that's set up let's go to the account no worry about that oh, that's the wrong account you can go to this account oh, please excuse me guys all right just make sure all the, the things that are set up in advance are set up quick check okay cool so okay guys and this is rei quarantine okay 
very simple software to use for everything that you need to keep you organized with your real estate business. It does things that no other software does. And it's built by investors that run marketing agencies and they've hired programmers to build the software. And it does things that Podio can't do. Um, it basically makes it so you can literally get rid of all of those other tools that we went over um, on the screen right here. If you just give me a moment to bring that back up. Where is that window at? On this screen here, right? We can get rid of all of those tools. Podio, you won't need it anymore, right? That's my Podio setup. Uh, pricing, we, I have another video with all the pricing and why you won't need these tools anymore if you have um, REI quarantine. You won't need any of these tools anymore, okay? Batch skip tracing, REI skip, 15 cents per record. Mojo has a single line dialer. It's 99 bucks a month for that one line dialer from Mojo. We include this in the system. We have a single line dialer already included in here, okay? Um, call rail is like 40 to 100 bucks a month but because i won't let them put a tracking cookie on my computer right look look what it tells me because i blocked them from watching me google abuse exemption so they won't let me log into their website uh, mailchimp look at the cost for mailchimp right like look at this boom boom and that's for a small amount of subscribers when you build a list you're gonna have you know hopefully when you build your list you'll have you know tens of thousands maybe even hundreds of thousands of people on that list look how much it'll cost you if you do that well, in our system, you get unlimited list and unlimited audiences. An audience is, let's say, for real estate, you'll have a list of sellers that need to sell, a list of buyers, all the investors that need to buy, right? You keep them going. And then let's say you have a list of your real estate agents, you have a list of your appraisers. That's four lists right there. And they're only going to let you have five. What kind of stuff is that? Like, that's ridiculous. Um, so they're basically just limiting what you have. We would never do that. You have unlimited emails, unlimited lists, and send as much as you want. Like, you can't beat that. Okay, so I think I did enough talking about these guys. Let's go ahead uh, and go back to the other screen, and let's get this thing, the show on the road, okay? So we're here at REI Quarantine, right? And when you get to, uh, when you first log in to your dashboard, this is what you're going to see. This is the page you log into and it'll have any opportunities that have come in and here um pipeline values kind of hit or miss because it has certain characteristics that it does the math on that will change um conversion rates guys let me explain something to you that you guys probably don't understand you want to set your business up properly if you're not planning on tracking all of the people you send to your website and try to keep their attention long term you're crazy your ads that you spend if you're going to be doing ads because i won't lie to you i've never had to run ads because i cold call and i'm the cold call king i get a contract every day in less than four hours and it's no problem so i didn't have to run ads right but when i started running ads i didn't do it efficiently i ran ads i didn't track it this does all of that, right? So your ads will be here. Your spending will be here. The opportunities that come in from your ads will be here, right? Oh, let me let me full size the screen. Um, full size projector. Okay, those will be here, right? Um, phone calls that come in, text messages that come in will be here, right? If somebody searches a certain term in Google and it turns into a phone call to your website or to you we will have that tracked in here and we'll know where they came from can your system do that I didn't think so okay um, lead source report so this is saying this one came from a funnel chat and this came from maybe a Facebook chat and this came from one of the my website pages where people can request a consultation hello all in one place guys come on all right here if you're running google ads guess what they're going to be right here they'll say hey your ad showed up five thousand times you got 200 clicks then they'll give you a click-through rate average cost per click and how much you spent for that campaign or what have you 
good stuff Google my business if you guys are serious about investing in real estate or any business for that matter but for your real estate business start controlling your reputation online and that's all plugged in here to REI quarantine you connect it to your Google my business page and I'll give you an idea of what that looks like right so let's say I just type in uh, CLU, SIVE, inclusive consulting, right? Boom. You see this right here? This side right here? This is huge. How many times have you guys been in Google and you when you go to look for somebody or something and you expect their stuff to pop up here? Um, see reviews, hours, operations, stuff like that, right? You expect it almost, right? And then this is added in here and this comes straight from the system so all of this you're seeing in regards to this inclusive consulting services real estate agency in Pompano Beach Florida all of that came from within the system right and so what we're going to do now is start requesting for people to review or leave a review about us and we'll do that right from the system and if you guys don't know that Google loves when you get reviews like I can't make it more clear to you than that right so as you can see controlling your reputation is important and when we start sending out these reviews they'll go out and when they come in they'll come in here and just so you know guys it only pulls up reviews that are four and a half stars or better okay and they'll start coming up right here and then when they do come in you can put them on your website you can embed them in pages and all of those things but you'll have the the numbers the feedback all of that stuff right here now, I do think I have a dummy campaign I can show you on what the numbers look like. Uh, let me just take a quick look on the inclusive account, see if I have any dummy data there um, to pull in. No, no dummy, no good dummy data there. So no worries. I'll try to show you guys some dummy data so you can get an idea of what it's like um, to see it. But no worries. I'll show you that stuff later. All right. So let me go back to the main account. Okay. So that's the dashboard you log in everything you have going on at a glance and by everything you guys or you unexperienced investors think everything is just calling leads and seeing if somebody responded well when you're the boss you got bills to pay you're looking at expenses you're looking at are these leads converting is this ad that i made is it converting as good as the ad from last week you're testing multiple ads things that you guys don't even begin to think about when you're just starting out Okay, well, all of that's tied into one place right here. Whew. Sorry about that, but I love it, and I know you guys will love it too. So now let's get into the, the very meat and potatoes of what this can do for you instantly, right? Now, nothing beats cold calling. I'm telling you now, learn to cold call so that way you can get a deal every day on the phone within four or five hours of calling as long as you're doing a thousand dials per day it's not hard it's very easy i do it every day i'm going to start uploading my calls again so you guys can see how easy it is that being said this system takes that same data and basically turns it into an inbound outbound campaign what do i mean by that so we're sending cold leads text messages and emails and voicemail blasts from this system all completely 100% automated on autopilot when these people call back from a voicemail or something like that sometimes they don't even check the message they're just calling back and you got to close them or explain or you know tell them what's going on and let them know why you're reaching out to them okay so as you can see instead of a cold call going out and you sitting in a chair making a cold call having that call uh, having them pick up the call which is better by the way you rather disturb the person so to have your day disturbed um, you can send out text messages, emails, and voicemail blasts, and some of the people will just call back in anyway. So it's still cold calling, but they're just calling you. I hope that makes sense. So let's, let's do a demonstration on how simple this is and how easy it works for you. Right? So the campaigns and everything are built. We can go over that later. I'm going to show you literally just how simple it is to have everything automated okay so the first thing we're going to do is I guess we'll just go to um, oh here we go there it is we're gonna go to contacts and I have a test lead in here okay and there it goes well, let me just put the name in there L -A -M -A -R. there's the test lead right there 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the email address because that's not the email address I have logged in right here, right? So I want all the emails to go to here and this is what? Help at lamarketing.xyz, right? All right, so that's, we're gonna make that the leads email address. So that way when the emails come in, you can see it here. And when the text messages and stuff come in, you can see them here. Okay, cool. So let's do that real quick. Change the email. Uh, help at uh, rkting dot xyz. Okay, double check it, scroll down, click save. Now it is saved. So that's the phone number. Okay. And I'm going to show you where that phone number is at in here. If I go to my phone numbers, you will see that's one of my phone numbers. Uh, where's numbers? Boom. Boom. Uh, where is it at? Two, there it is. This number right here. So that's the number. Okay. Okay. Um, so we'll go back to here. So you know that's the number for that screen. You know that email here is the email for this address. We'll refresh. Make sure everything's clear. Okay. So now let's go ahead and pretend. And the reason why I say pretend is you don't have to click the buttons or do anything for these emails and these text messages to automatically go out. If somebody emails you or they send you a text message, those are considered triggers in the system and then the system will automatically respond. If somebody comes in from your Facebook page or sends you a Facebook message, or somebody um, sends you, comes in from your website and they submit a request for help or something like that, all of those things automatically trigger all of these responses we're going to send out, okay? So that's what we're going to do right now. Let's put this gentleman here in a campaign, okay? And just so you could, what you're looking at, this is the conversational log for this lead. So this conversation log will never go away. It's attached to the lead. But what I want you to focus on is what we call the actual conversations window. As you see, it's empty. The reason this window is empty is it's only for actual live conversations where somebody's responding. So if somebody responds, it'll be in here. Right, and then let's say you say, okay, that's great. We'll move you, we're, we're gonna move forward. So once you move them forward to, let's say hot lead or something like that, this conversation goes away. This should always be blank so you know where to go. And the reason why it has to be blank because all your messages come in here. Let me give you a list of the messages that come in here. Facebook Messenger comes in here, okay? Text messages come in here. Voicemail message, uh, your voicemails that you leave and they respond, they come in here. Calls come in here. Any response from your websites where they submit a form comes in here. So let's see, that's text, that's email, um, that's phone calls, Facebook Messenger, and your website in one conversation window. Let that soak in. So if there's anything here, that means the person just responded. So now we're going to go back to the lead and I'm going to show you. Remember, conversation begins. That's why it says it begins because that's where everything starts. When we go to the lead, which is in our contacts and click smart list, you can search for whoever you need for it. Just come here, L-A-M-A-R, search that up. There's the lead that we just switched everything to, right? And this is the conversation log for this lead. I've tested this lead a lot, that's why it's so long, see? And you'll see error messages and everything because I had to test and work out some bugs and some kinks, right? But here you go, that was working, that's working, that's working. As you see, these are the messages that went out from way before, but we're gonna do a fresh campaign here. Okay, so let's go ahead. And if you're in the lead and you're looking to the left tab, you will see campaigns. And you can already see past the previous campaigns he's been in, and that's the same campaign we're going to put him in right now. So we're just going to go add campaign, click the campaign that you want. Let's take a quick look at these. So if, you, if this was a client who had foreclosure issues, you put him in foreclosure. Let's say you had an offer, you were trying to entice people from your website to submit a form, and you said, hey, 
we'll give you $500 towards closing cost. And they submit that form, that's your offer claim. So you put them here. If it's somebody looking to buy, you put them there. If it's somebody looking to sell, you put them there, right? Okay, so since we're targeting sellers, we're gonna pretend he's a seller, put him there. And we're just going to click add for the test. Because it's a test, we don't put a date and a time and it'll instantly send it to test it. If we put a date and a time, um, it'll have to wait for that time to send it. So we, we sent that, we hit the button, boom. The first message goes out, right? That's a text message. Now, like I said, all this stuff comes here. So we'll go back into the inbox. You guys can probably already hear alerts going off. Now look, the message is already here. Eight seconds ago, the message got here. The next step is figure out your current home value and how we can increase it to get you top dollar. Okay, so that's the message that went out. And what I'll do is I'll go back to the conversation log. Now look, the next step is figure out your current home value, right? And then also this email went out, all right? So let's go check the email. Let's look in the inbox, okay? So I don't see an email, you see an email? There's an email address, I know it's kind of dark, but there it is. Let's refresh this inbox. Look, there's an email from help at reiquarantine.com, right? Let's open it up. Hi, Lamar. Thanks for claiming our, and right here is where your offer that you've given to them would be, that they claim. So again, if it was $500 towards your closing cost, I would say, thanks for claiming our $500 closing cost offer. The next step is to figure out your current home value. Got your phone number there, or you can book, um, uh, click here to, to book online. Now, right now, I'm getting a phone call, right? I am going to uh, deny the call, but I'm going to show it to you guys on here, right? See that outbound? It says outbound call. I will explain all that to you. So let's just take a quick look. So as soon as a lead comes in, the first thing that happens, without you having to touch anything, text goes off, email gets sent, and then a call went out to the person, like that, bam, okay? So let's break that down. So now we're gonna pretend that we are the seller responding to, to these messages, right? So this is the seller's phone, and look, this message came out eight seconds ago. I haven't refreshed my screen, so we'll say, who is, who is this? And we're going to send that message, just like a normal text, right? So the message was sent, go back to our app. Before I can click back to the app, it's already there. Your text messages come in right to this conversation log, okay? And let's just pretend now he's responding from the email, right? So we're gonna go to the email, click reply. We're gonna say, what makes you think I am selling? Yeah, and I can't type. Question mark. Okay, so now let's just send that response. It's sending it, as you see, message sent successfully. Now, let's go click back to REI Quarantine, the super app. <laughs> Look, it already says, one more email in this thread. The email already got back before we can click from the window. How do we know that's the email? I don't know, let's take a look. So, you click the three dots here and it'll open up and expand the email, right? So this was the email that we sent to him, right? From Lamar Molina, uh, Lamar Molina in REI quarantine, right? And that's the subject line, offers next steps, right? Now that's how we minimize it. Now it says, look, one more email in a thread. So we click it, REI quarantine. Hi Lamar, let me, oh, let me expand on that. Hi Lamar, thanks for claiming your offer, right? Blah, blah, blah. The next step is figuring out your current home value. Blah, 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 right? That's what this one looks like. It went out at what? 2.10 p.m. or a.m. All right, so maybe I think I might have sent two by accident. Um, but either way, that went out, right? So now, uh, hold on. We're there. Do, 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 do. there we go. Uh, pull up here. 
and just confirm because I got lost on the last email that you know that we responded to the one that we where we wrote um, what makes you think I'm selling right so that's what we're looking for right now uh, maybe it, what is this and it is hot see right here this is the message where he responded what makes you think I am selling and we know it was him because it says Lamar to REI quarantine right there's a timestamp that's a message we sent to him right there right the blue and we'll look forward to getting you called best wishes and that's the links that we have and that's our phone number right there boom right and then he responded with what makes you think I'm selling okay that's what he responded with it says it right there what makes you think I'm selling remember I wrote that and for those of you that are don't get it or think it's too difficult I'm gonna go to my sent items let's take a look what did I write look at the bottom of the email what right here I don't know if you guys can see that what makes you think I'm selling okay so that was a response so I'm gonna send another email again right and say uh where's the reply button let's say something um how did you get my info please what is your offer send all right now it'll probably get there before we can even click back over we're going to minimize this okay so again look it already came back in here i just had it open the whole time so you didn't get to see it fully you know come in the way i would have liked it but as you see it's right here if i click this and look at the time it says 210 right that says 213 so this is the this is his latest response because you could tell from the time 213 but we'll click this Oh, that was, your, that was the one before. Please forgive me. See? And then just above that, it says, how did you get my info? What is your offer? Right? So there you go. Again, that worked. So now let's just say we're going to reply to him from here to his email. Let's just click reply. I can work with you. What? do you need to make this happen you can see the typing once i get the flowing boy whoo and click send all right so now let's go back to the his inbox for his email we'll refresh this and look there's an email from rei quarantine offer name next steps i can change the subject line if i wanted to i can work with you what do you need to make this happen now let's pretend we're going to go to the back to the to the cell phone, right? And we're going to type, see, he already he typed who is this. So if we wanted to, we would just go here. It's a text message. So we know, let's minimize this because I think it's kind of in a way. We know what the text message symbol looks like, and that's it. That's a text message symbol. And his responses, the seller's responses are always on the left. Your responses are always on the right. His initials are right there, Lamar Molina. That little green thing means it's a text message, and it says, who is this? If I go into my phone, those are the messages coming in. This is the messages that I'm sending. Who is this? And I'll say, uh, you did not answer my question. Who is this? Please. And now we're going to send that message and then we're going to go right back to REI reply. And before we can even click back, you did not answer my phone. Who was this? Blah, blah, blah. Everything is right here, guys. Right? So I think you get the gist of what's going on here. The text response works right in here. Um, the email responses work right in here. The voicemail responses work right in here. And we set all of this up in a campaign that you can totally customize. And it's not difficult like Podio trying to figure this stuff out. Um, I'll give you a quick look at what the customizations look like because they're so simple, right? Um, let's go to the campaigns. And these, 
this is your campaign, right? Remember, we put them in a home seller campaign. Let's click that button and look, it's very simple. First SMS message goes out immediately, right here. It goes out immediately. We don't even wait. Thanks for grabbing your free custom values here offer, custom value there, right? So wherever you see these little brackets, that means the system's going to automatically put in the right data, okay? Um, now, you can edit this if you want to go in, just click edit. You can change all this up any way that you like, right? Um, you can even send a test message right from here to test it. If you want to add a link to something, you could do that, right? I'm going to close that out. And then, as you see, so uh, SMS goes first, then an email goes, right? And let's take a look at the email. You've already seen it before. Look, familiar? The next step is figuring out blah, blah, blah. There's your email, right? Very simple. You can test it. So when the test, just to give you guys an idea, the from address is the email that you want. Like say, um, you know, Mike Smith at gmail.com, and the to address is where you want to send it. You know, Mike Smith at gmail.com or Steve Smith at gmail, wherever you want to send it to. Very simple. Click send. Um, it's not rocket science, guys. Um, so the, the third step is a voicemail. Let's go over that because I didn't even explain how that works out, right? So um, what happens is, so this goes out instantly and this goes out instantly. And then after three minutes, then the voicemail calls. So how that works is, do you guys remember I said, hey, I'm getting calls, I'm getting calls, right? So let me show you here in the call log because it all should be here in the call log. Let me refresh this. Yeah, I don't use this that much, to be honest with you. I just usually have it everything forwarded, so I'm very very rarely on this part of the interface. All conversations. Refresh it. Mm, let's see. Oh, because this forwards it too. So that's the problem, right? Because the system forwards the call to me anyway, just sends it on over. So it doesn't really give the most, um, like all calls. Let's see if I can pull it up in calls only. All right, where's this at? Yeah, so it's kind of hard to show it here um, because it's just a forwarded line. So the one line comes in, it just throws it out. That's why it doesn't show up with all the calls. But trust me, the call came in, everything was fine, and boom, well, there you go. You know, there's not much more for you to do. Okay. Um, where are we at? So the call, the system calls the investor first, right? So when you see this, and I'll show you in the conversations how it looks, right? Because think about it. Um, and there's the, the text log, but so first we send a text message and we send, uh, we send text message and we send the, the email. And then three minutes later, this voicemail goes out, but it's not really a voicemail, it's an actual cold call. So what happens is the system's going to call the investor. It's going to say, hey, you got a new lead. You need to call them. Do you have time? Push any button. We'll connect you to the, the, to the seller. So the system calls the investor first. And if the investor says, I got time to talk to the seller, push any button. It'll connect the seller, and you're calling right there. Okay, guys and girls. So you got to understand, this is everything that you guys need in regards to investing. Um, we're going to have a very special offer for you guys to go ahead and take advantage of this system at a very affordable price for everyone. I just wanted to leak this little teaser clip because we'll probably have everything set up for purchasing tomorrow. So I wanted to get this out there to you guys first before we put it on YouTube and start running the ads. Um, and you guys won't be able to take advantage the way that you deserve to because you guys were in this group, you're on my YouTube channel before anybody knows really what's going on and I love you and I thank you for it from the bottom of my heart. So the best way for me to do that is to show you all the cool tools we have and then roll them out to you just like our free skip tracing that nobody believes. We give you free skip tracing, absolutely free. Plenty of people know it. Guys in the group, please attest to those of you that use it. Um, we give skip tracing away for free and we're, we're pretty near close to being able to give REI quarantine away for free. What would you guys think about getting this system for absolutely free? It's not right now, but it could be. So 
I just want to put that out there. I can't think of anything else that I really have to show you guys or that'll be important to you immediately. But, um, okay, let's do this. I'll show you something that most wholesalers or most real estate investors, the weak ones they'll know about. Your, your money that you're spending on ads, right? Like, look at this. This is important. Like, you got to know this stuff, right? Like, I don't know what else to say. Um, let me go to a different account that, that might have some dummy data. Um, I think Inclusive's got some dummy data. All right, so this is good dummy data, right? You see, you're viewing dummy data, sample data, right? So this is what it'll look like, you know, when you're running your ads or something. You can see who's clicked what, how much. You can see, because um, you'll spend some on retargeting. That's remarketing, targeting people that you've already spoke with. Then you'll have a reputation marketing, you know, trying to get people to submit reviews, say good things about you online, um, competitors, blah, 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 right? You'll tell your clicks, you'll know all that stuff. You see the little pop-ups and highlights saying you had uh, 44 clicks and you're down 57%. Um, you had 2,400 impressions. Like these are real stats. These are stats if you had a real campaign that are very important for marketing, guys. If you don't know this, you want to know this, and you want to have it right here. Anybody who does this for you, because we do this for people, we have to have it centralized. That's all we need to be able to pull down, you know, all these accounts, and then just say, okay, what are they doing on their account? And look, they got reviews, clicks, impressions, all throughout the city. And look how many pages. I mean, the, the data lives here forever. It's housed here, and it's centralized. You, it doesn't get better than this. This thing crushes Podio. You can't put any of this in Podio that I know of at the moment. Um, this easily, okay? Matter of fact, I take that back. Podio is great, but it's not as intuitive as it's not as user friendly. Um, and again, this is just the Google Ads. Let's say you're running Facebook. If you're not, you should be. Then you'll get your Facebook ads, right? You'll get to know what's going on with them, how much it's costing you, is it working, how much you spent, um, what's the return on that money, and then you'll get real numbers just like this. You can sort them, right? You can do whatever you need to do to keep eye on your money. And then here's all the different campaigns that you're running, right? So for me, I'm a marketing agency. So maybe I'll have, um, you know, Market Agencies USA. I'm running some ads from them. I'm running some ads for a real estate landing page. I'm running some ads for a custom dentist audience. I'm running some more ads for this guy, uh, USA and Canada dentist. All customer winners, look-alike audiences. You guys might not know what that means, but you will. Um, this guy ran an ad for, let's say, when you have an agency and you run ads to get attention online, they'll say, free teeth whitening if you come stop by our office today, if you're a dentist, or if you're a gym, free two-week membership if you, if you stop by today. And when they claim that two-week membership, it ends up right in your pipeline, and we're tracking it all the way from here. There's no question about what's going on with your money, Okay. Um, and then what's really important, um, attribution report, eh, it's all right. Um, I don't want to get too nerdy for you guys. Like, see, social media, paid search, paid social, organic search. That gets a little bit technical, um, but it's very important stuff when you're spending money on ads, okay? And then here's what's really cool for me. Like, when you're running ads and you're getting calls, or even better, you're text blasting, you're email blasting, um, you want to monitor those calls coming in and those results, and that'll be right here, right? Not much data in here for that, but it would be in here for, uh, when it goes out. Excuse me, guys. It is friggin' 2.30 in the morning. It's just set the clocks back, so it's really like 3.30, but we just set the clocks back. Okay? Uh, let's see. Forget it. I'm just going to tear the roof off this thing, because I was just going to do a quick teaser clip, but guess not. Um, so that's how you're tracking your ads that you're spending if you are spending, again, if you're a rookie and you don't have money, just get on the phone and cold call. This is a good way to, to not have to cold call. You can blast them with leads and they call you back, right? That's literally what that's boiling down to. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Let's let's get right into it, right? We just killed click funnels. If you've ever heard of click funnels, it's over with, right? Why pay 300 bucks a month for all those limitations? And they can't do everything we can do here. Okay, so let's take a look at funnels and websites. This is included with you guys' account. You can come in here and start building funnels to generate traffic, right? So let me show you, you know, this isn't a, let me go to a different page because the funnels on this one haven't been pushed out that much. 
So we'll go back to another account. As you see, there's way more funnels here. Um, we'll go to, let's say, the stop foreclosure funnel, right? So this is a funnel and it's already connected to everything in, in here, right? So let's do a quick submission, right? So let's say, um, oh, we gotta go in, I gotta go into a private mode cause it's holding my data. So we gotta open that link in private so it doesn't pull up, you know, data. Okay, we're gonna open a link, but you're good. So you guys can see the foreclosure screen, right? So, Somebody lands on this page or we're pushing some Facebook ads to this page for people in foreclosure. How did we do that? So here we are. So let's say we're running traffic to this stop foreclosure today. Um, learn how to stop foreclosure without an attorney step-by-step -step guide, right? Um, it's pretty much to the point. As soon as they land, they don't got to scroll or anything. Stop foreclosure today. Learn how to stop foreclosure without an attorney step-by-step -step guide, right? If they wanted to scroll down, there's very little that they can do. All government foreclosure protection is ended. Are you late on your mortgage? Home in need of repairs? Blah, 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 blah. If they click this button right here, okay, they're going to end up in my inbox. Um, I'll show you the other window in a moment. Um, but so let's say they book an appointment and they say, yeah, we want 930 on the second. They click select date. All the information's already filled out here. They don't got to key it in again. And then they book the appointment. Help is on the way. Thanks for your submission. We'll get right on this. In the meantime, you click the blue chat icon in the bottom of the window if you need anything, right? And it knows where it's still us. The form's intelligent. It's not going to make you redo stuff. And boom. We're going to close that out. We're going to minimize this. And, and I have the screen recording right here for right now. That's why it's doing that. Oh, let me go back to quarantine app. Boom. Okay. So now you're seeing this. Oh, minimize that guy. Bam. Okay. So now that you have this, we're gonna go look at our contacts. Remember, we submitted that, and here's all three pages that it went through. And then just so you know that it worked, right? All the submissions, you can tell how many people got to what point, what the conversion rates are. Like, the other systems don't do this, guys. How many of these page views were new users, and how many were repeat users, right? If you had eight unique users, but you have 15 visitors in total, you know how many people have been there twice or more than once, we'll say. Um, and the cool thing here, Facebook pixel tracking, right? Like, if you guys don't know about a pixel, I don't know what to tell you. I suggest you go learn something. I'm going to tell, watch what happens. I told the page to reload with the pixel because if you don't have events firing off into your pixel, you're just, like, wasting time, right? So I'm going to show you what happens now Load this. Pixel should fire. Boom. See, I got that little one in the corner. I don't know if you can see it because my head's in the way. That little green. Uh, let me move out the way. See that little green two that popped up? If I click that, that's all being tracked and uploaded into my Facebook so I can track you down wherever you are. Okay? You should have one of those on, on your pages and all that stuff. Okay. So now we're going to go back into the account and all of those submissions that you just saw are going to be, take a guess. Didn't answer my question, but blah, blah, blah. ah, funny. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, where'd we go here? Oh, uh, yeah. So you're gonna go to contacts. All the submissions that just came in. Look at the creation date. Two thirty-eight. Two thirteen. Two minutes ago, right? Mike Ross. That's the one we just put in there, and it's gonna tell you where it came from. Now look, it's already, the lead came in on its own. I didn't do this. I forgot that I had everything running. So when I submitted that, that last test form, look at, it just initiated everything. Your appointment for Monday, November the 2nd at 9.30 a.m. has been confirmed. Remember we confirmed the appointment? Um, your booking request has been received, right? So let's take a look at that email. We've received your request for an appointment. Our staff will follow up with you. REI quarantine, right? Hi, Mike. We received your request for an appointment. One of our staff members will follow. We sent him a text message also. And then boom. To add an appointment to your Google Calendar, just click the link, blah, 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 right? So let's let's test that out. I haven't had a chance to test that, but let's try it, right? And look, it's bringing up your personal calendar, right? Personal calendar. 
Reload site. Uh, we don't need to do all that. It's just reloading the calendar to apply changes. I don't need it to do that. Um, but as you can see, maybe I'll just reload it so you guys can see. Reload the page. Okay. I can add a Google Meet video conference. Everything here is already there. That's the email. That's my personal email, right? So that was that's from my calendar. And look what's already in there. Everything's already there. Can you see how simple it is to keep your leads um, under control? Okay. So again, this was the link that's inside the messages that they get. All they got to do is click it, and they they're good to go, guys. Okay. And I don't even know what to say about that. Um, the system just works so effortlessly, right? Okay, I don't think there's much more I want to show you right now. I could take a deeper dive, but this is specifically for the members of my Facebook group, La Marketing PMA. And I'm going to do a separate video for the YouTube members because, you know, there's more people on YouTube than in the group. But you guys got it first. You guys got it first. I want to give you guys a chance to do so. Um, at the special price we're going to be rolling out and going over today. If you guys are so in love with this product and you're like, yeah, I got, I, I want it, I want in, I need to know what's going on, I need that, I need that, send me an email, tell me you saw the product demonstration and you want to know more, okay? Um, one last look just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Dashboard has all the stuff in it. Conversations or any new conversations that we have, right? Um, we'll mark this guy as red so it's out of there. Opportunity. So when leads come in, they end up getting put into a queue. Once you decide it's either a hot lead, a new lead, or whatever, all of that goes into one of these queues, and it would be right here. Okay. Um, let's see. You don't need to know any of this stuff. Not right now, anyway. Reporting. You already saw that. Scheduling is cool. It's just your calendar and for appointments. Simple stuff. Your reputation, you can request reviews and send reviews out to your clients. And that's how you boost the scores for your reviews. And Google loves that. Funnels and websites, you saw those, right? You have funnels, you have websites, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, there's more than just one page there. I guess I'll show you one more funnel so you know it's not just the stop foreclosure. Um, let's say you want real estate business funnel, right? Last one you saw was stop foreclosure. This one's real estate business. Um, go here, open it up in a private tab. Oh, you can't see those, I forgot. Uh, let's go here. Psh. Control C. Um, but you guys get the error. I'll show it to you what it looks like. You got, I forgot you can't see it without the tab. Oh, there. So this is what it looks like, right? Um, and you can put more pages to it, more stuff. Um, but again, same process. What's my home worth? Blah 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 blah. Right. And that's how you you get a seller lead. You say, hey, let's see how much that home is worth. Let's see we. We can help you out with that, right? Boom. Close that out. We don't need that. So that's about it, guys. Everything you need to know. Uh, well, not everything, but for the most part, the basics on what you can do here with the system, how it will be able to change your real estate investing business and keep things on point, not getting lost like I was with my 27 open windows trying to do this demonstration. Okay? If you question, please let us know. It's our pleasure to serve you guys and help you out on your real estate mission um, and, and make this, fun, uh, this money in your future, okay? It's been a pleasure. If you have any questions or concerns, please let us know, guys. Take care. Lamar Molina with La Marketing PMA signing off here. Have a great night. Or morning, I guess I should say at this point. <laughs>